welcome to episode 5 of the Scratch Never Do series. Well, are you ready to uncover more things to avoid? Let's get started. Every tip in this video comes straight from you, the viewers. So be sure to share your thoughts in the comments below for future episodes. Starting off with clothes. So first of all, we need to drag a wing green five click block, broadcast message one. And when I receive message one, we need to make a new custom block. And we need to enable run without screen refresh. Now time to define the new block. Forever broadcast message but create clone of myself and go to random question. The next step, click the green flag. And oh boy, the lag is real. It's lagging like crazy here. Even though we can still move around the UI, it's taking an eternity, 3-4 to four minutes per click. Let's leave it be for now and see if this lag eventually results in a crash. The next tip actually came via mail and it's all about the percent 15. If you have been tuned into our previous videos, which by the way you totally should have, you know that the percent 15 has a great reputation for breaking scratch projects. This email suggests a little experiment. So first of all, we need to search for percent 15 in the scratch search bar and of course we'll stumble upon this square thing. Now here's where it gets intriguing if we copy the square and tweak the url by swapping out the 15 with the square and then if we hit enter this triggers a unique scratch error scheme something i bet you haven't ever seen this is like my very first time seeing this scratch error scheme we are not done with the percent 15 yet if you open any of your old project with existing code let's make a new variable paste the square into it and now if we click ok you won't see any variable but that's how it works now nope, save your project and then reopen it and whoosh every single piece of code i mean every single piece of code magically disappears plus you won't be able to save it afterward however if you now check on the variables you might spot this empty variable if you delete it voila you can save your project again this is not a bug it's a feature next let's explore the sound editor by choosing any sound you want, I'll go with the meow and if you speed it up a bit this much and then if you crank up the volume until you hit a specific line until you see a line on the middle so you could do it by clicking on the louder button so you could do this manually or use auto clickers but I'm doing it by hand for now so once you reach the line and if you click on the echo effect, remember this feature is exclusive to Scratch Addon. Check out my video on Scratch Addon if you're not familiar with that. But anyways, if you click on the echo effect, this creates a really strange, like the full sound editor gets crazy. Look at this, the full sound editor breaks and it seriously messes up the sound. It gets really, really distorted. You thought we are done with sounds? No, we are not. Remember that cursed text to speech glitch from episode 3? Well, guess what? A viewer suggested a tweak. By adding in a wait 0 seconds before broadcasting, it can still create that chaotic sound. I am back. It's true. I am back. But this time, it's perfect for making a distorted sound effect in Scratch. Just look at this. Another plus point in this is it stops when you click the stop project. I am death, destroyer of worlds. Which is huge because the normal one would not stop. Also, seems like there's a budget version of this glitch using the sound block. Here's the trick. When the green flag is clicked, forever loop, then the same thing we can broadcast a message. And when you receive the message, you stop all sounds and drag the play sound until done block. Boom, you will get that exact same effect but this time with any music you want. We're done with sounds and let's head into the stage and what I'm going to show you is seriously epic. You know how clicking on the stage limits some blocks, you can use motion, some of the looks blocks are gone, some of the sensing blocks are gone, so yeah. But what if I told you that's sort of a lie? While blocks like motion are still a no-go, you can't use them on the stage, others surprisingly work. So if you take the save block for example, you can drag it from a sprite onto the stage 
and then you can type just anything you want click it and bam it works like a child like it just works you can say things on your stage with no money you can't do another fascinating find i noticed when messing with each and every block is the next costume block works even though there's a separate next backdrop block the next costume block also works with the same cursor which is really neat plus the sensing blocks work so the touching so you could check whether your mouse pointer is touching whether the sprite is touching and even the color sensing blocks also work color sensing blocks can be used to detect something like a sprite for example which is really really cool so this is more like scratch saying never do this on the stage but you actually can do this stuff in the stage which is really really cool flow on stage music we did it all so now let's talk about effects i got a comment suggesting something wild set the world effect to 10,000. that's it so i had to say this for myself and oh my i will spoil it just take a look this is how it looks and if you for some reason thought that was wild hold on because another video was suggested forever setting the color effect to 99 even adding epilepsy warning so i guess epilepsy warning wow look at this this is pure art so finally we did everything we only got first sprite so if you name a sprite to infinity really specific the first letter should be capital and the rest simple and then go to block and then we go to motion drag go to this sprite and then if you grab divide operator type 1 divided by 20 which says infinity then plug it into the go to block that would actually work really really crazy <laughs> you don't need to do this but yeah it works so now i am somehow out of the sprite library and this is how the stage look really beautiful and yeah for some reason scratch is still running it still didn't crash but the lag is on another level look at that look at that oh my god